your rehab expert. So let's talk a little bit about the research with kinesiology taping. First of all, the question is always asked, how does it work? Well, the answer is we really don't know. There's several theories on how it might work, and there's several theories about the mechanisms in which it might work, but in reality, it's all theoretical in how it exactly works, because we really don't know. We don't have enough science to actually support the mechanism behind it. We have science that shows that it works for certain conditions, but let's talk for just a second about how we think it actually works. The way that we think kinesiology tape actually works is through input into the skin. So something's happening when you apply something on top of the skin, it sends some signals to the receptors in the skin, and then it's thought to then activate something called the gate control theory, where we're actually sending the sensation from the skin into the central nervous system, which then overrides these pain signals that are going into the brain. And that's called the gate control theory, which is actually a theory that's based on several other types of pain controlling modalities, like ice and heat, like electrotherapy, like topical analgesics. They all are thought to work through this gate control theory where a sensation on the skin is actually blocking a pain sensation from reaching our conscious awareness. There are other theories of how tape works, such as changing muscle activation or increasing circulation, and those have not been adequately researched or shown to be true or false. So we really can't say for sure if that's exactly what's happening with our kinesiology tape. What about the research specifically on kinesiology taping? Well, the most important outcome and the outcome that we have the most data, supportive data on, is gonna be reduction in musculoskeletal pain, particularly chronic musculoskeletal pain for, that has been lasting for more than four weeks. In a recent paper that was published by Lim and Tay, they actually did a meta-analysis that actually looked at the level of pain relief comparing kinesiology tape to other pain relieving modalities and they found that kinesiology tape was just as effective as similar modalities at reducing pain or minimal intervention. Now if you compare the pain relieving ability of kinesiology tape to a little bit more involved mechanisms which may be things like modalities, manual therapy, exercise, you're not going to see as effective pain relief as you would with those modalities. But nonetheless, we know that kinesiology tape does provide clinical pain relief at a level that other modalities might. And so it's worth a shot to try kinesiology tape with your patients who have chronic musculoskeletal pain that have, that's lasted for more than four weeks. But remember, kinesiology tape is not going to cure the problem or, or solve everything that's going on with the pain. It's just going to kind of, as we talked about in the gate control theory, it's going to reduce the pain which will allow you to do things like exercise, which actually may be uh, what we're going to use to heal that condition specifically.